nice awesome. to see you. Good to see you too. Misha, we've we've had a chat. We know who each other. We you know we we kind of know each other from uh, before. But um, where do you work? What do you do for a living? Thanks. Well, Simon, so my name is Mish Lajeunesse and I'm a children's allergy specialist and I work at Southampton Children's Hospital where I'm involved in our uh, regional centre and we're involved in treating children and young adults and also um, uh, research and teaching. So what's the what's age that you, uh, you, you see? So my, personally, I treat um, children from babies right the way through to 19 years of age. Give yourself a plug on Twitter as well. You were telling me about your oh, yes, uh, so Twitter handle. handle. So my Twitter handle is at Mish Like Quiche. There you go. So That's you know it. how to pronounce my name properly. There we are, indeed. So, so <laughs> I'll have to start I, I was, using it now. <laughs> That's it. I, I was. I, we, we had a, uh, a call with um, uh, Matt Doyle, and we got another video on our Matt's going to Matt's produced some three videos on how to use EpiPens, uh, Jexton, Emirate. And then we also had a conversation separately to that on um, you know when to use them and how to use them. And, uh, uh, you know, because it, it can be very scary, can't it? It, it can be very confusing as well because you've got three different types of pen. Um, but it, it's it's just so very important, isn't it, to know uh, and carry, you know, what how to use them outside of that uh, emergency situation and um, and be able to become familiar uh, with with how to use those pens. And um, we've got the links as well on, on how you get trainer pens. Um, but when, when when when's the ideal time? You know, when should you use a pen? I mean, we talk talk with Matt about you know if it's external, it's kind of tingling in the in the lips, or as a you know a skin reaction, then maybe no. But you know, you're kind of looking for that internal tightening of the throat, and uh, it, it you know the the body's kind of reacting. What 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 what's the kind of is is there a rule when do you use it? Well. There isn't a rule, a hard and fast rule about these things. And I would encourage everybody to feel comfortable about needing to use their adrenaline pen when they felt that the time was right to do it. And um, I'll tell you a few little kind of hints that might give you an idea about when would be the right time to do it. Um, so most of the time it's going to be food allergy that you're going to carry a pen for. There'll be a few people who carry it for be in wasp stings and of course you're going to be stung in order to have that but the majority of people it's around food allergy and for the most part in order to have a food allergic reaction you have to have some sort of direct contact with the food most of the time it's eating it so the context of these reactions are you're eating something and it's often very quickly realized because of those sort of itchy tingly sensations in your mouth some people even complain of a odd smell that the food has that they can pick it up um, but not everybody has that kind of sixth sense, so don't rely on it. Um, but if you do, sometimes you think, well, that's not quite right. Um, you will immediately have that sensation that something's wrong. And um, that's the time to just put it down and to say, right, there's, I'm having an allergic reaction. So if you're in a restaurant, for instance, you tell the people that you're with that you're having an allergic reaction to the food, um, just so that everybody's clear what's going on. You don't need to use a pen in that sort of situation. Just knowing that you've had that reaction and having some antihistamine um, and taking it easy for the rest of the day as well. So you know, if you're planning on going out dancing or you've got some um, sport booked afterwards, then that's the time when you, you've got a yellow card for that and you're off, you're off the pitch. What? What's happening to the body? Why, why does the body react in that sort of way? Well, the, the, your, your immune system is there primed and waiting for this to happen, which isn't great. It's, this is why, you know, allergic reaction is not, it's not the way our immune system is really designed to behave. But what happens is it's waiting there. So as soon as it comes into contact with that food, it then recognises it. And then that recognition causes an allergic reaction to happen. It kind of signals. It's a sort of, it's, um, you know, the, the, the sentry on the watchtower sees the thing and then tells everybody else that there's a problem. And then then that reaction happens from there. So there's that recognition step and then a response. So once you get that response, once you get that kind of reaction, you've got you've got the tightening in the throat. You've got other, what's other, other um, 
other reactions might the body have? So the, the sort of thing that is very common is itchy sensation in your mouth and throat, maybe swelling your lips or hives coming up in your body. That sensation in your throat can be really quite uncomfortable, especially if it gets around the back and it goes up into your ears. That's really kind of an itchy sort of thing to happen. What we would be looking out for to think about using the EpiPens or other brands um, would be um, that um, you that tightening in the throat becomes more restrictive. People say that it feels like they're breathing through a straw or through a pencil, or they start to cough a lot, or they trigger an asthma attack where their chest is tight and they're wheezing and coughing from that as well. If those sort of things happen, and that's the most common first serious symptoms that you get with a food allergic reaction, then that's the cue to use your pen. Um, other cues would be- a very, a very scary experience. Nasty business, and often, um, it, uh, often you feel really dreadfully unwell with it as well. People talk about a feeling of impending doom. They really don't feel well. It feels bad. And that's really that's a really nasty thing to experience. Um, part of that is um, because the chemicals that your body is releasing as part of the allergic reaction are changing the way your brain works and thinks. Not great. So get get. Get find your ad adrenaline pen, your your epi pen, your Jex, your uh, MRA. Get 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 those. Get that ready. Um, we know about taking the cap off. We know about injecting in in the yeah. thigh. What what then happens? And 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 you know, is it sooner the better, or you know, you get Absolutely. that tingling, or what, what 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 when's the when's the best time? When you get to that point where you think you need to use it, then you should just get on and use it. Think about it like a parachute. Now, in the United States, they have very different rules. In Europe, we have rules that say when you get to those more severe symptoms, which I've just described to you, that's when you use the pen. But in the States, they say as soon as you've got an allergic reaction happening and you know that's what's going on, you use the pen. It's just like a parachute. If you've fallen out of the plane, as soon as you know you're out, then you can use the parachute. There's no point waiting around. Um, you know, people don't say, well, you know, I've not fallen out of a plane before. I might just hang around a bit and see, not wait, wait till I pull my ripcord. People want to, you know, if you want a soft landing, the sooner you pull your parachute, well, the better. And adrenaline, to think about the adrenaline pens like a parachute is quite a, um, a useful analogy because um, one of the actions of the adrenaline is it turns off that reaction that's happening. So even though you've got recognition of the food there, that reaction is then stopped in its tracks by the adrenaline. So it has a double action. The It will treat all the symptoms. It's really good at treating an asthma attack. It's really helpful at opening your throat sensation and it supports your circulation as well. So it's just what you need from a treatment point of view, but it also turns the reaction off. And that's unlike something like a blue puffer salbutamol or an antihistamine, which doesn't turn your reaction off. So if things are bad, you go for your pen because that's the thing that's really going to make the difference. And the sooner you use it, the softer your landing is going to be. So the, the, the body makes adrenaline naturally. Yeah, it does. That, that injection, that, that um, it, it's, it's a boost. You, so you've got an extra bit of it, uh, adrenaline in your body that then yeah. gives you that extra protection. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. You get much higher doses from the adrenaline pen than you would be able to produce by yourself. And um, we know that it's the adrenaline that you need to turn the reaction off. So we're giving exactly what you need at the right time. Um, you know, if you pull your parachute cord and you don't need it. So, for instance, you know, if you if you came, if it was a mild reaction and you didn't really need to use your pen. So instead of falling out of the plane, you were stepping off the bottom step of a ladder and you find yourself on the ground and better very quickly. If you pulled your parachute cord, it's not a big deal. You know, you've got a lot of parachute around, but it's not a big deal. And people say that, you know, um, that they can feel that their, their heart's beating slightly fast if they've used the pen because the one of the actions of adrenaline is to increase your heart rate. How part of the reason why it supports your your um, cardiovascular system. It's a normal kind of response to it. That's not a bad thing in itself. So no real harm if you, you know, no you, real you, harm. you have the pen and you have an extra bit of uh, adrenaline in your body. It's not going to do you any harm. The doses that you get in the pens, you're not going to hurt yourself with those. So it's better to take it rather than not. Yeah, absolutely. Just like a parachute. You're not going to say, well, hmm. I'll, I'll remember the parachute. And you don't, you don't know, you know, you're the, you're the blind parachutist. You don't know how far you're going to fall. So you do want to get that open, that parachute open quickly, because then you'd guarantee a safe landing. And how long does it take the body then to um, kind of react to that uh, that injection? How long does it take adrenaline take to, to kick in? Happens really quickly. And within a matter of a few minutes, you're feeling much better on the whole. And should we wait then for the second one? What's, I mean, what, 
if you're waiting for what five minutes, ten minutes, won't be doing yourself any. Happen. So, but um, so just like parachutes, most of the time a single parachute, a single pen will do everything you need to do, especially with an out of hospital episode of anaphylaxis. Um, about one in twenty people will need a second dose, and um, the way you're going to know that is because the symptoms that you are using it to treating have not gone away or they've got away very quickly and then they come back again things are getting steadily worse so one of the really important things to know is that when you've used your adrenaline pen you contact emergency services it's a 999 job and to say anaphylaxis and that's spelt out phonetically on the action plans for people um so um so that they know what's going on and, and that the, the um, 999 team can respond appropriately because this is just first aid and some people will need to have further specialist medical care as an emergency and so you need them there sooner rather than later great that's really helpful information to know thanks very much indeed i'm um, very grateful um Mish, Good to talk to you. Very nice to talk to you, Simon. Thank you so much.